In this video, we are going to be solving the tangency problem on the screen, which is a jack plane handle. So first of all, I'm going to draw my straight horizontal line like this, then pick my set square and draw a vertical line in this manner. Yeah, like this. Then we have been given this particular length as seen on the diagram to be 70 millimeter. So picking my ruler, I'm going to pick 70 millimeter like this in this manner like this 70 millimeter then we are also giving another length of 10 millimeter here so i'm going to pick 10 millimeter like this also also then from those lengths i'm going to draw a straight line up like this please make sure you are using thin line then from this particular edge also i'm going to draw another straight line up like this so now we have been given the length of this particular line that is passing through this place at the bottom to be 15 millimeter. So I'm going to pick 15 millimeter on my on my ruler like this, 15 millimeter in this manner. Then I'm going to pick my T squares, draw a straight line like this. So now we have also been given a, this particular length. We have been given the length of this place to this place to be 80 millimeter. So now I'm going to pick my my compass measuring length 80 millimeter on my compass like this length 80 millimeter from this particular point here like this i'm going to strike an arc here then place my compass at this point back like this and draw a curve like this making use of thin lines then i'm going to measure length 50 millimeters we can also see 50 millimeter radius length also for for the arc i'm going to measure 50 millimeter radius length like this then place it at this point also then strike an arc like this also making use of thin line please so now we have been given the radius of this particular curve that this little curve as seen on the diagram to be radius 10 millimeter so i'm going to pick my my ruler and measure 10 millimeter length upwards like this then from this place i'm going to draw a straight thin line like this in this manner now i'm going to pick radius 40 millimeter on my compass like this radius 40 millimeter like this then place it at this point then strike an arc here from this arc, I'm going to pick 10 millimeter, which is the main radius at which they have given us 10 millimeter radius. From this particular point here, I'm going to place it at this point, then join it. So that's that for that. Now I'm going to be drawing, I'm going to be thickening out the this part, the bottom part first. So now I'll thicken it out in this manner. So now I've taken it out already. Let's now focus on the upper parts of this particular jack plane handle. I'm going to pick radius of 50 millimeter on my on my compass like this. Radius of 50 millimeter. Then, as we can see in the diagram, from here to this above is having a radius of 50 millimeter. So I'm going to place my compass here and strike a thin line above this particular arc. And we are given a radius of 5 mm in this place. This particular curve, which is an internal arc, is having a radius of 5 mm. So I'm going to pick 50 minus 5, which is 45 on my compass. I'm going to pick 45 mm on my compass in this manner. Then place it at this point and strike an arc like this. Now, looking at these other parts, is having at this point it is an external arc so i'm going to be picking 50 plus 5 which is 55 millimeter i'm going to be picking 55 millimeter on my compass in this manner 55 millimeter placing it at this point using 55 millimeter i place it here and strike an arc at this point where this line meets i'm going to pick the exact radius which is radius of 5 radius of 5 millimeter i'm going to pick radius of 5 millimeter at this point and place it at this point where those two arcs meet 
now and draw my arc in this manner like this that's for that particular diagram so now after thickening this particular arc out i'm going to pick as we have been shown here in the diagram that this length is 50 millimeter i'm going to pick a 50 millimeter length on my comp on my ruler like this 50 millimeter at this point then i'm going to use my t square and draw a straight line like this please make sure it is a thin line i'm going to use my t square and draw a straight line then at this particular point we have been given a radius of seven millimeter we have been given radius of seven millimeter in order to draw that radius of seven millimeter which is an external arc we have been given this other radius this other arc here to be 80 millimeter so i'm going to pick 80 plus 7 which is 87 millimeter i'm going to pick 87 millimeter on my compass like this 87 millimeter 87 millimeter so from this point here i'm going to mark this particular arc so this place at which this line this straight line and this arc is meeting i'm going to pick seven that's seven seven millimeter on my on my compass like this and place it at this point at which this straight line and this arc meet then i'll draw my my arc for my seven millimeter arc and as we can see also we have this particular place to be a radius of five millimeter so now in order to draw that i'm going to pick radius seven plus five here which is going to be 12 millimeter radius i'm going to pick 12 millimeter radius on my compass in this manner then place it at this particular point and strike an arc like this then to strike the other arc i'm going to be picking radius 50 minus 5 we have this place to be 50 50 this upper arc here to be 50 minus 5 which is going to be 45 i'm going to pick 45 millimeter then place it at this point and strike an arc okay we have already striked that before so now i'm going to pick radius 5 millimeter on my compass placing it at that particular point at which these two lines intersect placing it at this particular point i'm going to draw my arc like this in this manner so now we are going to be thickening it out so i've thickened out the jack plane and already this is the diagram we are asked to draw please do well to like this video and subscribe and also share with your friends they will be needing it Thank you for watching. Peace.